Hello everyone, this is Asim from Trade with Asim and Sajjad and today I'm here to give you daily analysis of Euro USD, GBP USD, USD Canadian Dollar and Gold. Starting from our economic calendar from our website, we're looking into uh, 12th June 2018. Uh, we are looking into average earning index uh, for the app, uh, plus bonus of the April and GBP Clement amount charge. Both of the events for the British economy are very uh, key events and they're expecting it to be a uh, little bit less as per the expectation as the forecast is lesser than uh, normal. So I would expect there might be a selling portion on GBP USD for uh, 12 June. Moving on to the Eurozone, Germany economic sentiment. Uh, it will be affecting uh, Euro as the forecast is minus 12 points, um, minus 14.6, and at 12:30 uh, hours, all, all the timings are GMT on our website. So the core of CPI will be there from the US as well. So that's all regarding the important events on uh, 12 June 2018. Moving on to dollar index. Uh, currently, dollar dollar index is trading on 93.59 points, and it is. Uh, currently trying to go up, but it's bouncing back from the from 93.60. Uh, its lowest was uh, its lowest was 93.34. I'm expecting it to drop down as the weekly uh, outlook shows that the dollar index is going to be falling down and it will form another uh, a red candle. But currently, it's forming a green candle. In the next couple of days, we would expect it to be converting into a red candle. Uh, looking into Euro USD uh, on daily outlook, currently it's about the pivot and it's trading uh, on 1.17930, uh, which is just uh, below the first resistance, which is at 1.181. It got bounced back at this resistance level and it previously in last uh three days it has been bouncing back from this level so i would expect once again that it will try to breach if it will not breach and the dollar get a little bit stronger as well i'm afraid that it will bounce back and will go to support one which is at 1.17 1.173 uh but as the dollar weaking the, the dollar being getting weaker uh i would expect it that it will try to breach 1.1 at one uh in the coming few uh days uh, moving on to GBP USD, as currently we are expecting some news in the GBP uh, zone, and we are expecting that the GBP will be a uh, little weaker uh, on 12th June. So I would expect that it will try to uh, approach support one, which is at 1.336, and if it breaches support one, which is a very strong support as well, and it got bounced by a couple of times in last week, uh, I would expect that it will it. It, if it breaches, it would, the next point would be 1.328, which is support 3. But I'm, I'm expecting that it will be trading between pivot, which is at 1.340, and uh, support 1, which is at 1.336. Uh, moving on to Canadian dollar, it has been a sideways market from a couple of days. It's been moving up and down. Currently, it's below the pivot. Dollar being at the weaker point, I would expect it to trade below the pivot and the current candle will close green uh, and I will expect that if it will close green towards upward pin, uh, I am expecting that another candle would be forming a red candle. So currently its, its pivot is 1.296 and I would expect it to go below uh, and try to approach the support uh, one at 1.289. Uh, meaning that if it will breach this support level, it might go uh, at support 3, which is at 1.277. But uh, Canadian dollar has been weak as well from a couple of um, uh, weeks, so I would expect that it might not go that much down, but it will be trading just between the pivot and support 1, which is at 1.289, support 1, and the pivot is at 1.296. Moving on to uh, gold, I would uh, expect that gold is being as in a sideways kind of a up and down market uh, from last couple of days. In fact, from last couple of weeks, I would say I won't be wrong if I would say that it's been uh, moving 
uh, sideways from last uh, from last couple of weeks. Um, it's just trading at pivot, which is at one two nine nine point seven one five, and uh, I would expect that it will be below, drop below uh, support one. It tried to breach support three. It did not win below today, and it got bounced back, and it bounced back at a very very higher level. Once again, and it's currently trading at pivot. So, if the dollar becomes stronger, as there are some Trump and uh, North Korean talks going on, I would ex expect if anything goes wrong with the talks and it gets fell, I would expecting a huge, huge climb in the gold, and it will be affecting the prices as well. And then I'm looking at gold at 1320. So that's all from trade with Asim and Sajjad. If you have not subscribed yet to our channel, click on the subscribe button just below this video.